five dope effects you need to know about right inside of Premiere Pro part two. Let's jump straight into it. Effect number one, transform effect. You want to grab the transform effect. It's underneath video effects, distort, transform. We're going to drop this on the first clip. As you can see, nothing happens. Come up here to your effect controls and here's your transform. We're going to mess with the uh, position and scale. We're going to set keyframes for both of them. So where I want to zoom in at about right here and I'm going to center little Dirk like that. All right. So I zoomed it in and now I want to center little Dirk, something like that. I'll take these initial keyframes, bring it closer, and then we're going to uncheck this box to use composition shutter angle and we're going to set this to like 180 Hit enter we'll come out right here and we'll make it go back to we're going to set the keyframes again so it holds it in its position and then we'll come back to here right before it ends and reset both of them and this is what you got now that's a little too slow for me so I'm gonna take these keyframes and move them in some towards each other because I want it to be pretty fast zoom in and zoom out something like that just like that and as you can see you got that real good motion blur in and out yeah all right effect number two we're gonna go with wave warp another one that's underneath the distort folder we're gonna drag this on here as you can see it really doesn't look that great right so you got options to play with the wave height the wave width the direction of the wave and all these can be keyframed. The wave speed, which just tells you how fast the wave's gonna move when you're playing the clip. Pinning, I would put this on all edges so you don't see all those black. But let's go and do wave height, wave width. We'll make it real small. So we'll keyframe that height, width, and speed. And it's just gonna be like a quick little transition into the clip. We'll set this to zero, set that to zero, and set this to zero. And of course, I want it to be a little quicker, you know. So that's what you got. A little quick transition into this clip. And you can copy this keyframe here. Hit Control C, put it here. Hit Control V, and then copy this first set of keyframes. Control C. Control V and this is what you got. This third effect um, we're gonna use, if you notice I have two clips stacked on top of each other. So the third effect that we're gonna use is gonna be the track mat key. So let's look for that, let's search up track mat. And this one's in the video effects key in folder. You wanna drag this on your bottom layer and then you wanna set we're gonna set it to Luma, right? And then we're gonna change this to video layer two. Whatever you want it to be, that's what you change it to. But if you click reverse, you can get something totally different. Two different looks one plug-in all right the next effect it's gonna be none other than VR glow we're gonna grab that on and throw that on this clip right here what we're gonna do it's gonna come here you can change the tint color if you wanted to I'm gonna change this to like a goldish color orange color something like that yeah and I'm gonna take this this is the one we're really gonna mess with right now um, so I'll go a little further, bring this down to 0 0.3. See how bright that got. If you click this, use tint color right here. And we're gonna come here, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. See how bright that got. The, the lower the number, the brighter it gets. And we're gonna bring it back down to 0.9. We'll bring it back to 0.3. And right before it ends, we'll bring it to one. Uh, 
0.1 and this is what you got And I'm just doing these pretty quick just so the video is not long. Um, but I will create presets for all of these and a link for that will be in the description. This next effect requires a little extra work. Um, so right here we want to do what you want to do is you want to cut the clip up. So let's zoom in real quick and then we're going to go two frames, two frames, two frames, two frames two frames and what you want to do is you want to look for lumetric color and drag that on every other frame you know what put it on the first one that you want to do bring up the exposure so go to basic correction look for exposure bring that up you see how bright it got cool now copy that effect and then go to every other hold shift and then click on it so you can highlight them at the same time then hit control V and there you go quick flashes and you could also use this for transitions so if you wanted to you can do every frame cut every frame and then highlight one hit um, highlight the first one hold shift Highlight every other one, skip one, highlight one, skip one, highlight one. And then hit control V, paste it on there. Now you got a quick flash transition, just like that. So that was five effects that you can use right now in Premiere Pro without any plugins. If you like this type of content, make sure you leave a like, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I thank YouTube wants you to watch this playlist right here with that being said it's your boy los and i'm out